for my latest project I need to find a way to turn on these little aquarium pumps so they're just uh, going to be a low voltage um, FET that I want to use and I want to be able to drive it directly from 3.3 volt logic so I actually have a bunch of FETs lying around these are plenty big enough just by the look of them but I'm not quite sure what they all are so a little while ago I couldn't resist buying this little multi-tester and I can use it to figure out what these devices are so for example here's a, a transistor in a TO220 which is actually insulated so if I plug it in here to uh, arbitrarily one pins one two and three and I hit the start button it will tell me that this is an N channel uh, MOSFET and it ha has a threshold voltage of 4.16 volts and a RDS which is the uh, on resistance of 2.2 ohms so that's pretty good uh, it's a little bit of a high voltage 4.1 volt threshold is higher than I want so I'm not really going to want to use those uh, these guys um, you know they don't always have great markings on them that you can tell what they are but this is another TL220 FET and it's saying it's also an N channel MOSFET but the, the threshold voltage is 2 volts and the RDS on the uh, on resistance is 0.1 ohms so that's really good that'll work for me so these guys are good um, let's check out these guys another end channel MOSFET uh, threshold voltage is only 1.77 volts so that's very low and that's just what I want uh, the re on resistance is 0.2 ohms so that will easily drive this motor which is a 5 volt motor and it only probably takes uh, a couple of hundred milliamps at the most alright and one more batch here these I actually have a data sheet for and I just want to confirm that they're good to go they, they're pretty good so again an in-channel MOSFET 1.85 volt threshold for the gate turn on and the on resistance is 0.2 ohms so again that will work just great for this aquarium pump but this little multi-tester can test just about anything it doesn't need to be a transistor so here's a pretty hefty looking diode if I stick this in here between any two pins so I'm going to try one and three and it shows you a diagram of what it discovered so pin one it tells you which is the anode which is the cathode and it gives you the forward voltage in this case 544 millivolts so pretty cool um, I could try another diode this is also a pretty big diode and it's symmetrical you can't I mean I think on here it does label which pin is which but uh, it is not obvious from looking at it so again 
it shows you which pin is what and again it's 554 millivolts it tells you the capacitance too in this case 276 picofarads it's pretty amazing that this little uh, tester can automatically figure out what each device is so I have here on a, a transistor of some sort TL220 let's see what it says so it's saying this is a bipolar transistor a PNP uh, it's got uh, an HFE of 38 so it's got a gain of 38 and the voltage uh, the the base emitter voltage is 1.1 volts at a current of 5.4 milliamps pretty cool let's try another one uh, I'm not sure what this is Another, this one's an NPN uh, bipolar transistor with a gain of 32 HFE is 32 and the VBE the base emitter voltage is 553 millivolts so here is actually a regulator this is a negative regulator, so let's see what it says. I have no idea if it can figure this one out. So it says damaged part, unknown or damaged part. So it's definitely not a transistor. And uh, I knew that. Uh, it can also test passive components so let's try this part which is a capacitor color code says that it's a 0.1 microfarad so this says it's 98.2 nanofarads which is kind of cool very close to being what the color code says and it's probably within tolerance so it gives you the ESR 1.1 ohms so it's this tester actually figures a lot of things out and it's very cool um, here's a kind of unknown component it's got some weird color code on it uh, I don't know if you can see that but uh, two orange dots and a blue dot so let's just see what it says it is it says it's an inductor 0.26 millihenries and the resistance is 7.88 ohms so even if you don't know what it is it'll tell you let's try a, a big ceramic disc capacitor see what it says oops four hundred and seventy nine picofarads a giant capacitor but it has marked on it that it's a two kilovolt capacitor oh and it, it says on here it's a four hundred and seventy uh, picofarad capacitor so that's very close four seventy nine so let's try a giant capacitor or at least a big electrolytic capacitor this one is a non-polarized electrolytic capacitor if you know what that is whoa missed this does come with a set of leads that you can use as well but I'm just trying to use this 
zero insertion force socket for everything. It takes a while to test these big capacitors. So this says it's uh, 125 microfarads. Uh, ESR is 12 ohms. That's very cool because it's supposed to be a 100 microfarad capacitor. And how about inductors? Let's see what it does with one of these. Like there's no markings on this thing. So it says it is an inductor, it says it's 0 0.02 millihenries, there's not really very many turns on here. And it says the resistance is 0.18 ohms. So it gives you a lot of information about each component that it's testing. Let's try this thing. This, I believe, is a metal oxide varistor. And we'll want to connect it between two. And it does list the capacitance of this thing, which is uh, 1545 picofarads. But I'm not really expecting it to figure out that it's a varistor. And varistors typically do have pretty good capacitance like that. So here is a resistor. Somebody has carved a notch in this thing, probably for mounting somewhere, and I can't really read the value. So this is a pretty handy uh, application for something like this, where you actually don't know what it is. Of course, I could use a voltmeter to figure this one out, but if you got the meter out anyway, it will tell you stuff. So tells me it's a resistor and it's 10 ohms, 10.2 ohms. Pretty cool. So this thing is coming in very handy because right now I'm testing transistors which I actually need to use. Um, let's try a resistor here, the known value. Ten point zero ohms. That's what this resistor has marked on it. So it's very cool. Anyway, I'm pretty glad I bought this little device. It's uh, you know who knows what the accuracy is. It probably has some specs, but for just uh, sorting out the unknown components, it's pretty handy and. It does some really cool things trying to figure out what the devices are. Um, you know, for example, if I flip this uh, transistor around and stick it in there, it still figures it out and it, it just tells you which pin was connected to the emitter base and, tr and uh, base and uh, collector. So doesn't matter which way you put it in, it will figure out which pin is which on a, on a transistor. That wraps up this little tester, but uh, this cost about uh, just under $20. It has a lot of meters built into one device. And it's a pretty handy little device.